Well, only South African government officials with intimate knowledge of the case against Prophet Shepard Bushiri will be required to testify in the Malawian court. Now, back in 2020, the pastor, Sir Shepard Bushiri, and his wife Mary skipped the country after being granted bail in a fraud and corruption case against them. Yesterday, the High Court in Malawi overturned an earlier ruling that witnesses in South Africa could testify virtually. Well, the South African Justice Department says that as the case is not a criminal trial, only those with knowledge of the extradition case will be required to present themselves. At the heart of this judgment was whether, what are the relevant, rather, what are the relevant witnesses uh, which were required to appear before the Malawian authorities. And this judgment clarifies that the relevant witnesses are agents of the state or representatives of the state, as it, as, as it says in some instances, or people with intimate knowledge of the investigation that's at play. And they are required to answer specific questions in terms of Section 6 of the Extradition Act in Malawi. But most importantly, the judgment also really draws in a very important uh, distinction to say that this is not a trial within a trial. An extradition hearing is completely different to any other matter that would be presented before the court. So this is not a criminal process before another criminal process. And at first, maybe when uh, seeing some of the headlines that most of our colleagues had put out, one of the things that we did think was that, is this possible that the Malawian authorities actually want actual witnesses in a criminal trial to appear? in Malawi and testify. And the judgment makes it quite clear that they do not want the witnesses of a criminal trial. That would be an extra, that would be a trial in and of itself. And they're not interested in that type of a matter. Um, what they want is people who have intimate knowledge of the investigation itself to appear.